Okay, today's Tuesday and I'm working in the gallery. It's not really my favourite place to be because I'm not very good at it. Uh, Mrs S <coughs> is good with customers and... Um, the hell is going on here? I can't get my jacket off. <coughs> the has gone. So she's really good at it. I'm just not very good with customers. I don't have the patience. Somebody's going to say, are you the artiste? <laughs> God, see? See how bad I am at this. <laughs> really, I'm better off in the studio, which is where I'm going to be this afternoon. This morning, I'm just going to get uh, some design things that I need to get done. So this is a little room that at the back of the gallery that I use sometimes for little drawings and watercolours, particularly in the winter. But I've got to be in the gallery here for one reason or another. So there's a whole load of inks and watercolour. You know, it's not like a, it's not like a full-blown studio or anything like that. It's just a... Just a little space to work. Later in the week, Thursday, Friday perhaps, we're going to Devon and I'm going to make some pictures for the forthcoming exhibition June of this year and it will be largely related to the sea. So some of the paintings that I've already done will be in it. Uh, the big six foot by four foot canvas I thought was finished and now I realise is not. I'm going to change pretty much the whole top third of it. I don't like um, the light on it so I'm going to brighten that warmer look to it. Going back to the studio this afternoon so we'll probably start that then and now I'll just get on with this. Now I'm on my way to the studio. I don't know whether we'll get much work done because as I said I'm going away to Devon at the end of the week which is going to be great. That thing about going away it takes your head into another space. I'm already thinking about the work I might be doing when I'm there. And um, so the, the work that I, that I need to continue here may have to wait until I get back. I'm going to go and have a look at it, stand in front of it, think about it. You never know. Sometimes you just, it just clicks and, uh, and you're away and you start working and um, then the hours go by and it, you know, but we'll see. Ooh, presents. Today's a teaching day, everybody's working on still life behind me and I'm now faced with the Lindisfarne picture again. I see now that I need to start to reintroduce some more light into, into this top area, so I'm going to bring you along with me whilst I work on this. Time goes by, yeah, you and I are running out, running out. Time goes by, I'll change my So would you stay for a minute so I can be brave? Let me catch my breath. Now I can feel what I'm saying. I'm letting you know this heart's on the edge. Okay, so that's got the repaint started. What I'm going to do now is go outside and see what my students are doing. They've uh, had lunch. Well, the sun's come out and it is quite warm today. Well, I found most of them, but... Um, one or two are missing. <laughs> there you are, Michael. Okay, see you next week, Michael. Bye. Right, all the students have gone and uh, I think they've had a nice time in the garden this afternoon, um, the sun shone. Some of them struggled a little bit because, uh, you know, the garden's not a wholly natural environment and you can end up with something that looks a little bit contrived. This garden's not too bad, but some where I've worked really are quite difficult to get to look anything, you know, trimmed hedges and all that kind of, it just doesn't really work very well in paintings. Anyway, so now I need to get on with this. <laughs> Wholly repaint the sky and then have a look at the sea and see what we can do with that, see if I can get some shine and glitter into that. Here I'm mixing cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and a little bit of titanium white in there as well. We 
see what that does. Um, it can settle out once the thing settles down. It should bleed into into itself. This will be uh, a kind of base layer for the sky. Then I'll work on top of it and keep going until until I get something that something that's interesting. But what I need to do is make sense of all the light that's coming through the waves here by putting light into the sky. It was too dark. I think now it's going to work, but um, it'll take some playing with. I'm just going to put a little bit more white into the horizon area. I don't want that white to be as strong as that. There we go, that's better. All right, well, I think I'll see how that goes. The reason that I put ceruleum in here is because uh, there's a slight green tinge to it and it'll balance better with, um, with the foregrounds. I won't really know until I can tilt it up and have a proper look at it and then I can decide where to go from here. I quite like some of the swirling stuff that's going on. Oh, it's too much at the moment, it's too, too obvious what's going on, but I think as it bleeds out over a period of time, it should start to work, hopefully. Okay, well, I'm going to have to leave that painting now for, I don't know, I suppose somewhere about 12 hours, so certainly overnight anyway. Repainting on, on such a large scale is, is um, because I did quite like what was there before. But that's not good enough, is it, when you quite like something, you know? I mean, it's, a, it's an important picture, and when it goes into the gallery, I want to be really happy with it. There was a little thing jarring in the back of my head saying, this isn't quite right, is it? And, you know, so... <laughs> You've got to go with your instincts. That's the whole point of doing this, really. I've got to be really happy with it in the end. No, I'm in London tomorrow, so I'll be coming back to it on Sunday. Not that it makes any difference to you, because it'll be just like that. There, told you. I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> Just like that. Time goes by, oh precious time. Wait, just one minute. Time goes by, I think I thought it all. It all. So would you stay for a minute? So I can be brave, let me catch my breath, now I can feel... Okay, there we are. I think what I'm not saying is that the painting is finished. <laughs> You'd be relieved to hear there won't be a part four to this series of videos. I think essentially it's finished. The painting does what I want it to do. There may be some tiny changes, tweaks, there may not. I'm going to put it aside now. Pretty well I'm happier than when we had it in this state. So I'll put the two up together like this and then you can have a look at what's happened over the last few days. Okay, finishing a painting always feels a bit like the end of term, <laughs> especially a big painting like this one. So um, now I'm just gonna have a little wander around the garden and get some fresh air. Ooh, what a beautiful day. It's cold, but spring has definitely come to Norton Conyers. All the gardeners are here today, all sorts of things going on. There's blossom everywhere. I'm just go and have a look at the, at the greenhouse. The peach blossom. Morning. Hi, yeah. You alright? Yeah. Good, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's a cracker, isn't it? Giles, what's this? Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I prefer this one. Is that the same? Yeah, Ravi Sanguinium white icicle. I think that's quite magnificent. It is. It is a beautiful Absolutely thing. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah. I mean, that, it's a good colour, red pimpernel, but it doesn't seem to grow right good. Really? Somehow. It never sort of... This grows freely. Yeah. Most big um, seems of flowers on it. Attracting the bees. A very good bee plant. Ribe sanguinium is a very important bee plant. Right. Um, I was going to ask you, do you think we could get the wicker man in the bucket of the tractor? Yeah, we can do, yes. Just put him on the concrete so I can work yeah. on him a little bit. When you want to do that? Anytime, I don't mind. Oh, God, it's nice to get outside. It's just beautiful. Everything is blossoming. 
Smells wonderful, they've cut the grass today. Uh, this is the second cut, I think, this year. And uh, we could probably hear the birds are singing. It's just, it's just fabulous. Great to be alive. So this is the wicker man that I made. I think he must be about three years ago now. So he's not done too badly. He's lasted quite well. Um, but you can probably see he's quite dry and needs a bit of tender loving care now. Um, so this is the willow from the garden that was cut last week. I'm going to start to, to weave a little bit into his fabric and then he'll go back. Very okay. Okay, there we are. That was a fairly packed vlog. All that painting and even a little bit of uh, willow weaving thrown in. I'm sure the willow man will appear in, um, in the next vlog because I need to finish him off and then get him back where he needs to go. Thanks to everyone who's already subscribed. Maybe leave a message, let me know who you are. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget, press the thumbs up if you would, the little button down there, and uh, subscribe to my channel. That'd be brilliant.